Antigua and Barbuda Media Congress is seeking to reorganize itself ahead of the International Press Institute, IPI, World Congress 2012. Under the theme, Media in a Challenging World, a 360-degree perspective, the three-day IPI World Congress will examine the many challenges, concerns, and opportunities facing the media in the Caribbean, Latin America, and across the world. President of the local Media Congress, Colin James, speaks of the plans to bring local journalists on board. It's to reconstitute ourselves, call a, a general meeting, um, invite as many media workers, journalists as we can to come to whatever general meeting we might be able to um, put together. And I, I'm hoping that we can do so with, before the World, the IPI, the International Press Institute World Congress takes place in Trinidad towards the end of June. So we have practically about, what, six to eight weeks to put our house in order because if we're going to send any sort of representation or make any representation to that World Congress in Trinidad at the end of June, we need to have our house locally in order. The Congress will also feature a one-day seminar for reporters covering corruption, a press freedom photo exhibition, and a special awards evening honoring IPI's 2012 Free Media Pioneer and World Press Freedom Hero. James speaks of the need for young media practitioners to be part of the Antigua and Barbuda Media Congress in an effort to ensure its sustainability. The number of young inexperienced journalists coming into the profession and we want to make sure that they get the necessary grounding, training, exposure uh, to make sure that they do a good job and with the, with, with the young talent or the young blood around, they might be the ones now to take the, the Media Congress into the next, what, 10, 20 years. The IPI's World Congress will be held in Trinidad from June 23 to 26 and comes to the Caribbean for the first time. Members of the Global Press Freedom Organization last convened in the Americas some 12 years ago.